Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Sorry. Are you ready? Okay, come here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> You're gonna have to do this without me. Why? <laughs> Why? Why do I gotta do it without you? Okay. Oh, you got this? Alright. <laughs> Alright. Can, can I do it? Yes. Hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I, I've got Sean with me again today. He's supposed to be working for me. And so that's a, what, that's what we're about to do. I'm about to put him to work. Actually, he's been working all day. We've, we've been inside. Doing things inside. Because, come on. Because uh, I, next week, uh, people are going to come in and work on the inside of my house. I don't know what all they're going to get done. Um, so the big the big thing is my my floor, my foundation underneath the house. They're going to go up underneath the house to see what they can do to kind of level that out a little bit better. We did have a company come out and do some work on it. And um, I am not satisfied with it. And the flooring that the contractor had, the previous one had put down is not staying like it's supposed to. It's one of those interlocking uh, wood planks and it's not staying like it's supposed to. And it's not staying like it's supposed to because the floor is not level enough for that. And so this other, this other contractor has some guys, they're gonna go underneath the house, see what they can do differently, maybe to, to fix the problem. If we can't get that fixed, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, maybe they have some other options of other flooring, flooring that they can lay. I do not want carpet. Carpet is nasty. I'm, I'm right up on a dirt road, um, and and I've got I've got animals. I've got uh, some kids coming in and out every once in a while, and so it's really dusty in there. And I want to be able to just to sweep and mop and and not vacuum. Carpet's just nasty. That's just my opinion on it. So right now we're coming out, we're going to feed and water and um, hopefully he can hold it together long enough to finish this video or at least get part of this video done and then I'll finish it another day. But today it's a week, well it's almost a weekend. So we're going to go ahead and scrub out the waters and look at the animals and check on the chickens and see how they're doing. And so come along with us. Half a scoop. I've already fed them a little bit this morning. So we don't, we kind of feed them they think they're getting more but they're really hold on I can't grab it like that yeah they're really getting the same amount because I don't fill it up all the way I feed them twice a day but I don't fill it up you know all the way and they think they're getting more than what they are so that get that brush to scrub out their waters and I'll grab or I'll try I've got this camera in this I'll try to grab the other end of this hose so that we can do that Oh, you getting it? Yeah, I got it. You ready to do an intro? No. All right, well, worth a shot. So I got a comment the other day on one of my videos. Someone said they didn't realize how short I was until they saw me standing next to Cassie Walker. Well, I have something to say about that. Maybe I'm not short. Maybe Cassie is just freakishly tall. You ever, you ever thought about that? But the truth is, is what is that noise? Oh, the truth is, is when I'm filming, I'm holding the camera level. I level to me. And really, a lot of you, when you walk up to me, it would probably be more like this. So I am maybe 5'3", for, for all the y'all that are interested in knowing that and who care. Um, but no, Cassie is not short. She is not freakishly tall, but she is not short either. Um, thanks for pointing that out. All right, you got, you got that? And I'm going to go... Give them some feed. Like, y'all don't need any. Especially you. You big old fat thing. Speaking of fat things, that's another thing. I am on a diet. I'm on the keto diet. I was doing really good there for a while until I went to the Oki Homesteading uh, Expo <laughs> last March. And, uh, well, this year. March 2024. And got a hold of those uh, cheese, chocolate covered uh, cheesecakes on a stick. Ruined my whole diet and it was very hard to get back on get back it was very hard to get back on and but i'm on board again i'm on the wagon on the train whatever it is i'm back on and i'm i'm doing good so far but uh i got a ways to go buddy i know i'm here 
giving you attention. I'm giving you attention. You want to be on camera? You want your time, your moment on camera? Good boy. Dude. No, get down. You got me all dirty. Stay down. Hold this. Do an intro while you're there. You're Is just, it on? Yeah, it's on. It's filming you. Oh, uh, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Mostly just leaves. There's hardly any um, algae in there. Stop it. Oh, let me tell you what happened last night. Today is Halloween, by the way. And I had forgotten about that until I went to Walmart earlier. And then I saw a lot of things. And uh, realized it was Halloween. But last night, we got some rain. We got a lot of rain. I'm super excited about the rain. And then um, Saturday, let's see, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday coming up, uh, we're supposed to get a lot of rain too. Like high high percentages of, of lots of lots of rain. And we Look, he's, he's like desperate for attention. I usually spend time with him and I know I haven't been spending this much time with him lately and that is why he is having this behavioral problem. But let's back to the rain. I'm really excited that we had the rain. I was uh, very worried about it. It's uh, I've been feeding hay for a month now. A month, got spider web. A month of, get down. No, no, not funny anymore. A month, uh, I've been feeding hay to the cows. I started feeding a little bit of hay to the goats a little bit, a little bit before that. And I've got a goat licking the back of my leg. And I've got a dog putting his paw on me up here. A kid staring at me. I don't know how I'm gonna get this video done. Excited about the rain that we had and the rain that we are going to get. I'm gonna go turn this water on so we can start filling this up. Okay. I'm gonna leave Caleb and I mean Tucker in charge, okay? I don't like that. Well, I mean it is his yard. I'll be back. Really excited about the rain. Wait, it's not tall enough. Really excited about the rain. No, I'm here now. I can put it over there. You were just going to let it run on the ground mm -hmm. until you saw me. Yeah, look what you did. Until you saw me coming up. I got it now that I'm here. Mm. Sky doesn't know she's a goat and uh, you can't scare her with water. I think we're going to feed the um, I think we're going to feed the cows today. Just so that we can get them to come up and talk to Red and all that. Are we gonna put the Are we gonna put the halter on Red? Uh, do you want to put the halter on Red? Yeah. All right. Let's hurry and get this done then. You can outrun him. You can outrun him. He's just jogging. <laughs> Don't let him jump on you. Tell him no. Tell him no. not out of there. Run to that fence down there and back. He'll follow you. He's just jogging. Whoa. 
What are you doing, buddy? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? You're jealous. Hi, Eddie. You're too loud for me. You're too loud. You're too loud. I have to put, hey, stop. I have to put uh, Maggie and Chester in that little in that little kennel while Eddie and Gertie are out. See, I, don't know, I don't know if you can see Gertie over there. Come here, Gertie. Come here, Gertie. Come on, Gertie. Come here, Gertie. Good girl. Titus, stop. Titus. Yeah, that's a good girl. Alright, while Sean is getting the water hose back up here, he's going to clean out the buck's water and the chicken water, and I'm going to try to catch that red heifer and uh, feed the cows. Because Sean is wanting to halter her. So I just have the four cows over here and the one heifer, and it's uh, a lot different. I didn't expect it to be this much easier, but it is, it is a whole lot easier than having the, Jake and the other two heifers here. Um, they don't fight as much over the food, which means when I go out to feed, it's not as dangerous for me. Um, before, I don't know, it just seems like they were real pushy. Uh, it seems like nothing they were. They were real pushy with each other, and it was very dangerous for me. But, oh, I'm going to leave the bucket out here and try to catch the red heifer first. You coming through here? Uh, get away. Come on, Red. Hey, Red, let's go. Come here. Hi, Red. Get back. No. No. Come on, Red. You stay back. She's actually dangerous. Um, she doesn't necessarily like people, but she's extremely food motivated. So, she's a little crazy. Come on! Oh my goodness, I gotta go get this calf. Take some bait with me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. No. Really? Stop it! No. Get... I hear, I hear, uh, I hear Sean getting on to, getting on to the goats. Get back. Thought she was coming after me. No, go. Get. That, that goat is annoying. Go. Get out of here. Go on. Get, get. Go. I might need your help. She crazy. Do what? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sean, I got someone who may be interested in taking him though. Maybe Thank this, you. Make it, make it, maybe this weekend. Oh, look. You know how to fix it, don't you? Fix what? Your problem with him. No. You really don't? No. Goats don't like water. Oh, okay. He loves it. No, he doesn't. He's just getting a drink. Okay, that is weird. You coming out? Yes, I'm done, I think. I'll let him out. I can't help. This is too funny. that you can eat by yourself and maybe, maybe do a little halter training. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Red. Not you. Come on, Red. I said not you. Oh man, I'm stuck. Oh, I forgot. No, not you. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on. No, not you. Come on, Red. Not. Get back. I'll feed you after I feed her. After I feed her. Go. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. No. Get back. Let's see if I can get behind her. Nope, that's not helping. You got to come over here, Red. No. I'm trying to give you a piece. There you go. There you go. Stop. Here. That's just gross. I'm just by the way. Memo. Gross. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on. Come on, Red. Come on in. You got this. Red. You've done this a, a few times. It's not that hard. No, get back. Get. Get back. No, go, go. Come on, Red. Here, here's your piece. Now, come on, Red. I 
I'm gonna, you gotta let me go around and I'll get you something. Stop! You're as bad as the goat. I'm gonna go around and get you something. Be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go back around and try to feed these cows. Um, I don't know what's wrong with the animals, except that maybe we got rain, we've got, the lens is dirty, hang on, that cow did that. We got rain and we've got cooler we weather and it changed the behavior of, of everybody and everything. Um, it's kind of funny, I'm glad Sean is here um, to be the one that they, they bother like that instead of me, but um, one of the problems with the goat is that Pebbles is in heat and so uh, I was beginning to wonder if she hadn't got pregnant because she's gotten kind of big but she's in heat and so that means she is not pregnant which is a good thing because that would have been I don't know how it would have happened through the fence or something but um, she's not. Where are you going? I need a book. Hey but use this one after I use it. Okay. Take that. Don't let them come through this fence and uh, here you want to hold this while I Hang on just a second. I'll feed them real fast, hopefully. There, you can use this bucket. You were going to use it for water for the chicken? Yes. Yeah, so put that back on the... Um, what do you call? On the thing. Yeah, bucket. on the bucket. On the it's a trash can, whatever. We brought this out this morning because Rocky. No. Yes, Rocky got over here with the other two goats. He busted out over there by the shelter. So this morning we brought we brought this guy and the little guy over on this side, and we used the leash to bring Pepper over. Luckily, Pepper will walk with a collar or leash or something, and I really hope those people come to buy him. They want him. Um, I think they're going to breed him, but they really want him as a pet. Got a couple of kids, and they like goats. So, and it's not really that far from here. So I hope, I hope they do it. Cross your fingers. Where am I? Oh, I'm putting this up. You gotta remember to hold the camera up so you guys don't think that I'm tall or I guess normal <laughs> size and uh, let you know that I am short and uh, le let you know where is it that I voted um, and you should go vote too but I am going to take you out to the birds. Sean's out here uh, cleaning out the water. I'm not get giving them that uh, B12 and, uh, and zinc stuff anymore. I'm going to bring you out here and show you that they're fine. Um, we're not going to stay out here long. Sean is wanting to work with the heifer. That's why I went ahead and got her. I've not worked with her in a few days. Well, since the last time they were over. Since they came and got um, got the got Jake and the other two heifers. I haven't been out working with her. So she is kind of uh, not being real cooperative. But none of the animals are right now. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. Um, if you if you don't like watching us mess with the heifer i get it go ahead and fast forward through that or or come at, back on the next video but that's what sean wants to do he's been over here working all day today it definitely doesn't hurt me to let him work with that heifer so but for those of you who enjoy that kind of stuff enjoy um so look here are the birds <clears throat> and if you go back and look two videos ago the the birds are a lot they're making a lot more noise than they did then. When that, that first day when I came out and showed you guys that they were sick, even the turkey, he was fluffed up like that, but he never did once gobble. Um, looks like the laughing rooster's molting. It is in the evening. It is getting closer to five o'clock when they put themselves up. So I don't expect them to be very vocal or very active. But what I do notice, and I need to wash this out tomorrow, what I do notice is that they are not, I don't hear them breathing. They act normal. Um, they look normal. They're not, they're not sick looking and I don't hear them breathing, which that was the problem before is I could hear them breathing. 
Um, so I'm going to have to come back out in the morning and show you in the morning because <clears throat> I really think that it's, it's evening time and, and um, they're kind of slowing down. Is that it on that? Yep. So all we have to do is fill up the cow's water. I haven't washed it out yet. Is it empty enough to empty and wash out? If it's not empty enough, we won't wash it today. I'll wash it later. And then we won't, we won't change it if, if it's that full. Um, we just need to fill it up. But, blizzard? No. We need to rinse these out. I came and dumped them out this morning because it... It stormed last night and made a mess of everything. So let's go ahead and clean those out. And uh, then we'll, we'll go mess with the heifer. Okay. They're eating what I dumped out this morning. And it's supposed to rain in a couple of days. So uh, we'll have to do this again. Or I'll have to do this again. He won't be here again. Um, before I come back out and do all this. But I'm waiting on him to bring the sweet feed. <laughs> Just one in each bowl. Okay. And then turn off the water and then we'll do the heifer thing. So you might want to pet her first because it's been I haven't messed with her since here since y'all came out here the other day to get the others she's like nope you ain't doing it she'll let you do it though is there any food on the ground hey buddy hey buddy She knows what you're going to do. Come on. Wait, which part switch? Um, this goes over the back. So, hang on. Hold this. All dirty. It's all tight, didn't it? Yeah. There we go. Like that. The ears in here. Okay. Oh, it's on, isn't it? Yes, it's on. All the animals are acting a little weird today. And it's probably going to be, Sean, from the weather change and the rain that we got. It messes with animals? How does it mess with animals? It uh, makes, I don't know what it does to them other than makes them a little bit more ornery, a little bit more excitable. Um, they have a little bit more energy than normal. But as far as that goat goes, you know, Pebbles is in heat. So that's... If you want to get some more of that, you can, or you can get her some hay. A flake of hay, or you can just stick it on her and y'all fight it out. Hey! Sean's got something to prove here. Don't you? What? That you can catch her and put the halter on her. Yes, I can. No matter what that goat says. Ask her nicely. Maybe she'll just stick her nose in. Please get it on. <laughs> hey, let's do what I have here. Food. Hey, you want some food?
It's not that she's scared of it. It's just, just that she didn't want it. She's not scared of it. She's not scared of you. She just doesn't want it. You want, you want help or you want to do it? Uh, help. You want help? Okay. I think the best help is food, but... Yeah. Help. Stay here. Come here. Come here, little girl. Okay, let me see that. Unless you're wanting to do it. Yeah, I'll do it. You're wanting to do it. Okay, I can't tell. It's, it's hard for me to camera and help, okay? But if I can hold on to her tail, <laughs> she didn't like that. Put her on her neck. Once you catch her, I mean, she's gonna give in pretty much. Pretty much, not completely, but. The rodeo. <laughs> and the sun was like blocking a lot of that. That's too bad. You're asking for it. And don't let go now. to hold the camera and hold the cow. Let me try again. Yep. <laughs> cow, I think you met your match here on stubbornness. Let me see. Tucker, stop. Tucker. Quit. Quit. Tucker. Tucker. No. Stop. Good boy. It's on. This side's supposed to tighten up. Pull that. Well, I can't do it. Oh, it's not on her. I thought it was on her. This uh, this will tighten up on her nose. No, no. Hmm. So let's see if exactly. other cow peed on that. Gotcha. Tucker, no. You're gonna have to give in sometime. <laughs> you be careful. You can't ride her, okay? I know, but you can't ride her. So let's see. Okay, so here comes mom. So we gotta be. So this opens up and goes over the ears. Okay. Do you, can you open, can you pull? I have one hand. Pull this. There. Help me. There you go. This goes over the head and the ears. That part with the metal will be the part that tightens around her nose when she doesn't want to cooperate. Just a minute, Mama. If that Mama starts pulling in, we're jumping out of here. That's. I'm just telling you. Well, okay, you can jump. I'll have to open the gate. Um, and the nose piece will be. See it. So, this is behind her head. <laughs> and it goes. Look, can you. Let's see. Can you put the end. Put that end around her neck so she doesn't get away when I take this off her head? Like this? Yeah. Just the end piece. Give you enough room to. The whole end. Give you enough room to wrap around her neck and hold on to her. It is very hard to manipulate this with one hand. Now that goes over the nose. Grab it. Pull it over the nose. There we go. Oh, almost had it. It's off her ear again. Don't let go of her neck. Okay. Got her? Pull yep. this up. Pull, I mean, don't pull on it, but just hold it up. She's almost giving up herself. Open that up. This. This, this has got to go over her head, so we got to pull it open. 
Yeah, there you go. Pull. Oh, yeah, I need to. You need what? I need to give him. This piece right here goes over her nose. I mean, to the side of her face. And at this point, I don't care which side. I just get it on her. I think she's giving up, though. She's like, I surrender. I surrender. She's a good girl. Right here. This. It's on her, I think. Come around here and let's see. Yeah, okay, let's we'll fix it. Fix it. Let me go behind her. Let me go around. Let me do something. Yeah, see, she's, hold on, don't go anywhere. Let's fix this. Bring this down further. And this down. You all right? Yeah. Did something happen? Nope. So I think it's flipped over, but it'll, it'll work. Just when she's not minding, you need to um, pay attention that you're going to have to pull it down a little bit to tighten this up because I think it's flipped over. It should flip over the other way, I think. But you see what I'm saying? When you go ahead and pull on it, do your thing. And remember, she may try to come to you and roll on you. So, instead of jerking it, I don't know how to say this to you because I know you're not sitting there just jerking it, but pull it steady. Like, pull it, hold on, listen for a second and then do it. Pull on it steady, and when she comes forward, let it loosen up on her. Let her know forward is the direction you want her to go. Okay. When she's not going, you keep saying, come on, and you're jerking at it a little bit. Don't jerk at it. Give steady weight, pull your weight on it, and just hold it until she takes a step forward. When she starts coming to you, go ahead and let her come to you. Let it loosen up. Come on. There you go. I'm trying to get away from that sun because it's it's not filming everything with the sun there. There you go. She's trying to obey you. She she gave up when we were standing over here trying to put the halter on it the last on her this last time. She's, she's trying to do it. There you go. Let it. There you go. See, pet her. Honestly, I don't know if cows are. But I'm sure cows are different. A different animal altogether, but. Um, like, and I, and I don't know a lot about horses, but I know some things about horses without knowing a lot about horses. I don't know how to explain that, but I can tell you with dogs, once they start obeying, start, um, rewarding them. When they start to obey, that's when you reward them. Okay. And that, that would be letting that loosen up or pet her. And, and, and I could be really off on cows. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. They'll tell you in the comments for sure. You watch for the comment section. They'll be telling us how to do it. And some of them, some of them will know what they're talking Good about. Girl. Good girl. Good well, girl. I don't know about all that. That scares her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, that's hard because you're kind of pulling over a little bit. You're crossing over. It's hard for her to know where you're wanting her. Because she came out this way, 
and you're still pulling this way a little bit and it crosses over her nose and she doesn't know which way you want it. It crosses in front. See how it's crossing over? She doesn't understand that. Because you're pulling both ways at the same time. Right. There you go. This, yeah, turn her. Go ahead. When she does that, she shouldn't do that. There you go. She's she's surrendered. You think if she'll walk with you? You think if you walk, she'll walk with you? Just holding it by her side like this. You think she'll walk with you? Like if you stand here and walk, you think she will? Without knocking you down? Maybe. Eh. Maybe not. Let's see, now she's confused. It's um, wrapped on the other side of her. If it's wrapped on the other side, it's pulling from both sides at the same time and she doesn't know what she wants. Come on. Great. She is. Let me ask you something. What? Why are you pulling her here by me? I got the fence behind me and the camera in front of me. Okay, I'll turn this. Okay. Once she starts going with you, let's go ahead and stop her and let feed her with the halter on and, and be done with her. Um, but I want her to follow you before we stop her. Eh. Well, you're on, you're crossed over her nose. She didn't know what you're, she's supposed to be doing. There we go. That's good. Sort of. Sort of. Red. See, she's doing good. Sort of. Are you doing good? Yes. Sort of. You want to go give her a little bit of food with the halter on? Here, let me hold that. And that way she can be happy with the halter on. You really don't need this much feed, though. You know it? Hey. Hey. You were a little difficult today. Why is that so high up there? Can we pull this down? There we go. We got something wrong here, don't we? It's on wrong, isn't it? It is. I think it's backwards. I think maybe... I don't know. I think it's backwards. Something's wrong. Red, that blue sky behind you looks pretty next to your red hair. Perfect specimen of a heifer. He's gonna get you some food. Here he comes. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Is he coming with your food? Look at that. He's gonna give you some food. She wants you to put it where there's no poop. What? She wants you to put it where there's no poop, or you can feed her. Either way. Whatever. She didn't eat that one yet. Let's get some crunch crunch on there. 
She's like, okay, I'll put some crunch crunch on there. You think she's gonna eat that out of your hand once you get this on the ground? Yep. <laughs> Is this some crunch crunch? Crunch, crunch. Good doggy. You gonna take it off? Okay, I'm gonna open this gate and let her mama in here. Well, they're way out there. I'm gonna open this gate. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll escape out there and pick that up. You gonna be a good boy? 